Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Yusuf Scott once again. Um, today I want to talk to you guys about um, patience when trading Forex. Um, it's, it's very important that, you know, regardless of how anxious you are to make money, you have to be patient. You cannot force the market to do what it's not going to do or what it's not ready to do. Um, for instance, um, if you look at the Euro GBP, I'm sorry, the Euro JPY four hour chart, I have a support line here. And as bad as it will be, it will be real nice for the market to climb up to here. Guess what? That's, you talking 150 pips away. It'd be nice for the market to go up there. But you know what? It's not a guarantee that it's going to go there. Do I believe it's going to go there? I'm, I'm, I'm pretty confident that it will, but at the same time, I have to be patient and allow it to, to do what it do, because that's, that, that's all you can do. You can't force it to go there. And um, unfortunately, sometimes we get in these situations where we we're, just because the market is open, we want to just go out and trade. You know, you can't just trade because the market is open. Find a perfect setup. And, and milk it, you know, find that one setup a day and take all that you can out of it without risking your account. You know, just, just make it make it work for you. Get, get enough money out of the market, close out, and be happy you made $200. You know, if you do that five times a week, that's a grand a week, you know, full grand a month. You know, that's, that's not a bad day. You know, you're making the average person's salary. So, um, you know, I just, just want you to know that um, when you're when you're trading do not um, do not rush a trade just let it work itself out um, you know you have to set set goals when you're when you're trading um, and create levels where you can take profit so that you're not um, you know putting yourself out there where uh, holding holding a bad trade and then all of a sudden the you know just because you want the market to go up. Like for instance, if I may want the market to go up, but if it's not gonna go up, and if my trade is in a negative after a, so many pips, you know, it's best to just close it out. You know, don't don't force the market, don't think the market's gonna go, it's gonna be forgiven. No, nah, it isn't. It's gonna do what it's gonna do, you know? So, um, you know, it's, it's so many, so many different, um, so many different suggestions I can make in terms of trading styles, um, being patient, um, you know, setting your setting your incremental, you know, I'll say setting limits, smaller limits, where you can get take your money and get back in, so that you're not leaving yourself ex fully exposed and then wind up losing all that you have. You know, you can trade at a smaller volume, but just increase it as you go. It's a lot of different ways you can do it, so that you're not exposing yourself and, and leaving leaving your your equity your hard-earned equity out there to, to just be taken you know um, the market makers and the big banks they can care less if they want your money they want you out of there and they'd see you trading too heavy you know keep it up they, they'll, they'll wind up taking it but um, just just know that um, you know having patience in the market will definitely uh, definitely work for you um, something that's very important is if you if you're if you have a small account trade small don't trade too heavy where you're you're leaving yourself open for the market makers and you know them guys going to eat you wide open you talking about guys with billions of dollars trading in a market forcing the market to go up and down you know the the, the little guys can't do anything you know you're you're at their mercy so do not expect to, to trade with a couple hundred dollars but you're trading at one standard or something and thinking you're gonna you know uh, you know not saying that it, it, it can't happen but you know the chances are it's it's pretty slim so um, trade conservatively and then grow your money gradually just grow your money gradually and then as you grow your money then you can um, build you know increase your volume so it takes a bit of patience it takes you know some you know just being uh, obedient 
And you know, once once you learn to do that, you'll find yourself um, really growing your account, and then you can increase your volume as you trade. You know, you won't have to trade at one dollar or fifty cent. You can you can increase it to a standard, standard and a half. You know, you know, it's 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 really about being patient. And for those who are not patient, it shows in your trading. It really does because uh, you're you're one of those uh, people who would wipe their account out and don't don't give me don't don't you know understand this i've done it myself i've done it early on i've been there and i've done that but understand with you know with with age comes wisdom you put when you have a lot of age in the market and and you have a, you spend a lot of time in the market you become wise and then you learn all those mistakes that you learn early on you learn not to do so then when you start growing your money then you, you'll know that, okay, now I can trade a little higher, but I don't need to trade so high where if the market shoots down, it's going to wipe me out. Then I got to start over all the way over. So um, I just I just want to not always talk about trading Forex per se. I think that the mental and all the other things, all the other um, things that goes along with your psychological, your thinking when you're trading, those are just as important as learning a strategy. Strategies are great, but what if your mind is just all screwed up? And if your mind is screwed up, you wouldn't be able to even think properly anyway. So um, just understand that having patience in the market and you know having that good strength in the market is very important. And uh, w without patience and without strength in the market, the market will wipe you dry. I'm telling you. Um, try this you get your account up to like a thousand dollars try trading at 50 cent and see how your margin level percentage would be so high all right so um, I just want one for you guys to do that test and, and just see exactly how how high your margin level percentage will be and how it don't matter where the market go if it goes against you a million pips you, you're still good you know maybe not a million but uh, but th th that's the end. This is this the end of the video. I don't want to go too long. Uh, it was just something real short and sweet. I just want to get off my chest. But if you have any questions, you need any training, contact me. Email us so darn easy for us at gmail.com. I look forward to helping each and every one of you. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so because it's only going to help you uh, if you're a part of uh, my my um, my uh, page where I, you know, if you're a part of my channel, you subscribe. You want to get some great content, and every once in a while, I may drop some jewels on you. All right, so until next time, you guys, have a great night. I'll talk to you guys in the morning. All right, happy trading, too. Peace.